Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School. It's the 25th day of January, 2013. Nine degrees outside. At game time, this is CBAC Varsity, excuse me, Junior Varsity Boys Basketball. The Northern Adirondack Bobcats in Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. And Josh Juttman puts in the first points of the ball game for the visitors. This is uh, the unbeaten in CVAC Northern Adirondack Bobcats against the hometown Cougars. For the visitors, we see Corey LaFountain is 10, 21, that's Ethan King. Uh, 22 is uh, Bailey Cross, 23 as we mentioned. No, 23 is Darian Velasquez. I don't know why I said it was Juttman. 13 is Juttman. There's Juttman, number 13. Velasquez is 23. Velasquez had that basket. Uh, cross over to LaFountain. Cross to Juttman. Cross will let one sail off the rim. For the Cougars, uh, 25 is Nick Dragoon. 21 is Malik McLeod. 22, that's uh, Jacob Brown. 24 is Zabion Beasley. And Devin McManus is 44. Brown puts it up, and it's going to be off the fingertips of uh, Ethan King. It'll be white ball. Brian Marino and David Brown are your officials. Dragoon gives it to Jacob Brown. And I'm fairly certain that he's no relation to David Brown. McLeod will let a three-pointer rip. And it's a three to two lead for the Cougars. The Fountain will bring it into the forecourt. Friday night, it's senior night, so. Should be a good crowd here this evening. King, that boy can shoot, Ethan King. Saw him last week, and he just really lit it up there in Ellenberg. Brown to McManus, count the basket, and the foul will be on on Ron Cross's son, Bailey Cross. And send McManus to the line. Tie game, 5-5, five, five, 6 14 showing. And the Cougars take a 6 5 lead. King gets it into Cross. <clears throat> Just getting over a severe cold. And my voice has improved 100% since last night. But uh, plans are tomorrow morning to be out taping again at 8 o'clock on Saturday. And to the hockey rink uh, on Saturday afternoon. That's going to be the. That's going to be the. Uh, oh, good hustle, but I'll be traveled. That'll be the. The thing that's going to slow my progress up an afternoon in the hockey rink, but I will be there. Dragoon pushes it up to Beasley, back to McLeod in the paint. Out to Dragoon. And rebounded by King. King gives it up to Cross. Cross into the forecourt. Pushes it forward to Juttman. And Juttman is fouled. You got uh, Justin Gardner, the coach for the visiting Bobcats. And Jerry Davison for the Cougars. Shooting two is Juttman. This is the day after history was made. Hi. The best of our knowledge, the NAC Varsity Girls victory over Northeastern last night was the first ever. I uh, tried calling Don, former coach Don Sears, to see what he would know on that subject, because if anybody would know, he would. But uh, the number listed in the phone book is no longer a working number. And wasn't able to come up with a working number to reach him. McLeod will inbound it. Foul was on Juttman. His first, team third. 
Dragoon tied up and he's gonna dribble his way out. Cougars will work it around, work for the good shot. It's like a man-to-man -man defense for the Bobcats. That was intended for Beasley, but went out of bounds. Across will inbound to LaFountain. Oops, watch that zoom. There's Cross with the shot. It's going to hit the front of the rim and go out of bounds. And it'll be Cougar ball. 4.53 showing, first period, 7-6 Bobcats. Cougars break the press up to Beasley. And be called for travel, double, double dribble. He was trying to figure out a way to get it to McManus, but uh, his plan in, involved the double dribble, so didn't quite work out. Here's King. Baseline shot is short, and the Cougars come out with it. This is McLeod. And the shot is up off the rim. Put up again by McManus, and Cross will pick it up. Seven seniors on the Bobcats. So a lot of these... JV players will have that chance to move up next year. Count it. King takes the basket and draws the foul. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, four sophomores. Cross is an eighth grader and the rest are freshmen. King misses it. Everybody's standing around like he's going to shoot two in a basket after making a basket. Everybody but one player that was. Hop, skip, and a jump. And it's off the rim and rebounded by Velasquez. And have a jump ball. Easily. McLeod. Oh, Brown. Beasley. Cloud for three. Air ball. Nagoon, good hustle to get his hand and keep that ball in play. Good job. There's Cross pulling up, coming up short. And we'll have a jump ball as LaFountain. No hold call. LaFountain calling for the hold against Dragoon. I have a sub in for the Cougars. It's John Williams, and he's replacing Beasley. No, nope, he's replacing Brown. 9-6 Bobcats. Here's Dragoon over to Beasley into the forecourt. McManus. Now McLeod goes to Williams, and Williams lost it. Cross will bring it up. Three minutes to go, first period. Cats leading by three. Shot is missed by Velasquez, pulled down by Beasley. There's McLeod. Dragon. Pushes it back out to McLeod. Everybody touches the ball for the Cougars. Seems to have to dribble it. Maroon scores. Everybody has to dribble it. Fountain shot is missed. It's going to be off Dragoon, I guess. Cross will end up. Velasquez. 
Nope, rebound McManus. Dragoon. Post to post, Nick Dragoon. Went from Slyota to Altona on that one. And shot by Jackman, kept alive by the Fountain. And King gets it out to cross. The Velasquez to the Fountain. Rejected by McManus. Stolen back by Velasquez and he draws the foul. So it's 11-10, 1-22 on the clock here in the first. Velasquez can add to his team's lead. And it's in and out. They're going to Beasley for three. And Dragoon picks it up. Thanks it in. Nice shot. By Dragoon. McManus kept it alive and Dragoon is able to control it and get the basket. Velasquez puts it to the floor or puts up a short jumper. And Brown can't get a handle on it. It's picked up by Velasquez to cross. And that is Dutton battling for it. Cougars up by a point, 12-11, with 41.8 on the game clock. Pass comes deep. There's Jutnan. And Jutnan. Josh Jutnan. Little baseline jumper. Puts his team back up by a point. We're down to 25 seconds. Here in the first. Manis to McLeod. Beasley to Dragoon. Shot is missed. And Williams tried to keep it alive, but it's picked up by a hustling La Fountain. Yeah, speaking of hustling, here comes Dragoon. Blocked by King. That's thrown in at the buzzer by McLeod. So in a seesaw first quarter. The sea saw the Cougars take a one-point lead just before the buzzer sounded. 14-13 Northeastern. Cougar ball. McManus from the elbow. Rebounded by Jutnan. And then we'll inbound it. La Fountain. King wide open out there. Uh, uh, icing King here. Yeah, there we go. A little short. Been so long since he touched the ball that he felt the, <laughs> the urge to throw it up. I saw him hit some from out there last week, that distance, not out there because he wasn't here, but from that distance. There's McLeod to Brown. So McManus off his fingers. Jutman will get to the fountain, back to Jutman. Let's see, we've got number 15 in, that's Stephen Wark for the Bobcats. Is, uh, we got, he's in for cross, I guess. <coughs> Beasley kicked. 
by Velasquez. Shot is short. There's uh, King. And Beasley goes to Brown. Brown looking down the floor, didn't find a, an opening. Goes to McLeod, back to Brown, to Beasley for three. Barely touching the climb. Beasley makes it 17-13 Cougars. There's King. Fountain well, trying to go back to King. And we'll have a foul on McManus, and that'll send Velasquez to the line. We see Dragoon set to come back in. And we see Cross coming back in. He's going to give King a breather. Jutton thought it was his turn to sit. There's Velasquez. Makes it a one point ball game. 5.55 to go in a half. It's 17 16 Northeastern. Bobcat defense will pick up things at midcourt. Somebody's got to bend. McLeod to inbound it. Easily to McLeod. McManus with the rebound. Now Williams. And Williams gets it back. Dragoon off the rim, McManus too strong, Williams saves it but it's a jump ball, and it'll be Bobcat turn on the jump ball, 509 to go, we've got uh, number 31 Alex Houghton in the game. Cross will bring it up. Houghton ends up with it. McLeod into the forecourt, gets it to Dragoon. Oh, no double dribble, Dragoon off the rim. And while everybody's standing around, Williams jumps in there and knocks it loose and ends up in the Cougar's hands. We've got Cross down. Yeah, I missed a good part of last season with a, an injury. I can't remember where the injury was, but uh, he's, uh, he's down. I don't know if, what he has uh, damaged, but he's not looking to budge. Cross comes out under his own powers, and uh, King comes in for him. Intercepted by Warwick, and blocked by Beasley. We're going to have a foul called on him. So a chance to tie the game right here for Stephen, 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 Stephen Wark. 4.06 on the clock, Jerry Davison calls a timeout. Wark at the line. We're tied, 17 all. 
18-17. McLeod will bring it up. by Jutman. A fountain with the ball back to King. There's Jutman. King goes low. Uh, Velasquez who couldn't get it to fall. Under three to go in the first half. Dragoon for Houghton. And Houghton. Lays it in. Gotta use that glass though, young man. Use that glass whenever you can. Nineteen eighteen Cougars. Velasquez, this goes off the Kirby. And we got 31 in for the Cats. That's uh, James Minkler. He's going to replace Velasquez. Green ball. Chutnan. In and out. Minkler with the rebound. He's tied up by Houghton. A pair of 31s. McLeod into the forecourt. See some of the Cougar youth team members arriving. King, 147 left in the half. I guess we're going to have a foul on Dragoon. Williams will come back in. King at the line. Are you there? Hits the front of the one and one, ties the game. Right. Hits them both, and Coach Gardner wants a timeout. His team is up 20 to 11, to 19, so 20 to 19. Bobcats with the full court pressure. They're going across the timeline. McLeod hits the three pointer and the Cougars are up by a deuce. King will bring it up. La Fountain to Jutman. Fountain shot is missed and rebounded by Dragoon. Oh. McLeod. And we have a foul on the fountain. And Velasquez back in. He will replace Warwick. McLeod to inbound it. 
57.6 left in half. Air ball. Green ball. King will bring it into the forecourt. Velasquez dishes it off. Now we're going to have a hold on Beasley. And that'll send Jutton into the line to shoot a one and one. He can tie it with two. This is the front of the one and one. Williams gets the rebound, gives to Dragoon, who pushes it up to McLeod. Eight seconds. Shot is missed. Travel. Cougars will get it with 3.9. And they have an excellent chance of taking a lead into the halftime. And uh, I'm not sure of the strategy here. They put in Brown. And the Bacat should get all over him. The shortest guy in the team to be inbounding it. William. With the putback. In the air. Got it and threw it back up in the air, and it's a 24-20 lead. Cougars surprising the visiting Cats at the half here as the Northeastern team win, leads by four. Bobcat ball, the trail by four as we start the second half. Talking with um, former Cougar star Andy Gay over the basket by McLeod. Andy Gay from the few Section 7 champion teams the Cougars have had. The first one back in 1985. And uh, three seconds. His son plays on the unbeaten Peru team and he was hoping that uh, next week could be a battle of the unbeatens, unbeaten NAC and unbeaten Peru. But right now his alma mater is leading the Bobcats. There's Jutton in short. Cross keeps it alive, throws it up and off the rim, thrown back up off the rim, rebound McManus. Here's Brown, slides it over to McLeod. Six point Northeastern lead. Beasley to McLeod and it's gonna be a foul on McManus. That'll be his third as Velasquez jumped in to steal that one. McManus picks up his third. First foul on either team here in the second half. Cross will bring it up. Over to King. And Cougars take it away. Cross, it was, uh, it was a Brown forcing that shot up. Cats come up with it. King with a bounce pass, threading the needle. What a pass from King to Jutman. And they got the LaFountain trying to steal the ball. Up to McManus. And we have a Cougar timeout. Jerry Davison says, let's uh, put a lid on this before it gets out of hand. And looks like uh, number 15. Uh, I'm not sure who 15 is for the Cougars. He's on his feet. On board, 
It seems like I was wondering about who 15 was last time I was there. Nice that they put his name in the program. The Dragoon pushes it out to Brown for three. Nope. Beasley tries to slap it off the Bobcats. Looks like it's on Velasquez. Six minutes to go in the third, four point Cougar lead. And that's for three from Dragon. That'll be green ball, King will inbound. Anybody need a dentist? That's short. Picked up by Dragon. Jutton enforcing the turn, causing the jump ball. Cross the inbound it. King goes short. Velasquez. Williams in for Dragoon. That's 26-22, four-point ball game. Brown across the timeline. Beasley throws it up, cross rebounds. No travel, off the rim. Tracked down by Velasquez. And it's gonna send the King to the line. King will shoot two. They can make it a two point ball game. And he does. 20, no, it's a one point ball game, 26 25. Cougars keep it for the time being. Barely get across in the 10 second time period. That ball will bounce off the knee of Williams. Come on, Cougars! And it's Bobcat Ball, chance to take the lead at 444, showing here in the third period. Short jumper is Rebounded by Cross. And Cross puts his team up by a, a point. Over to Brown. A lot of activity out in the uh, hallway today. In the crowd. From the corner, a three-pointer puts his team up by two, 29-27, 4-12 on the clock, third quarter. There's the fountain, lost it. Off McLeod, apparently. Rebounded by Velasquez, and we have a jump ball. Well, 
There's Ray Thibodeau. What's he doing here? Let's get to focus. There we go. We're in focus. McLeod. The Beasley knocked out by LaCotton. And we got Dragoon back in. He is going to replace Beasley. to Brown. Stolen away by Velasquez. And he is fouled. Two pointer will tie it. The fountain into the forecourt. Cougars take it away. It is Dragoon. Brown back out to Dragoon. Closely guarded by Juttman. Hold. Hold called. It's starting to get real crowded in here. McManus is back in. He's tied up by Velasquez. Wildcat ball. 246. Left in the third. Cougars up by a scant two points. Cross tries to go deep for King. Williams led the pass. And it's a jump ball. It'll be Bobcat. I mean, Cougars turn. Bobcats had the last one. Obviously. Brown will give it back to McLeod. Two and a half to go in the third quarter. LaFountain. Corey LaFountain for three. He's put his team up by one. 30-29 and Jerry Davison wants to talk it over. 2-0-3 left in the third period. Oh, that's a flagrant hold. Nothing subtle about that one. Here it is only the 25th of January and it's senior night already here at Northeastern. The, the last four or five boys games are on the road. It's just very unusual scheduling. And you know, never want to end your season with that many road games. But that's what they're, they're going to be doing. Velasquez hits two and gives his team a three point 32 29 lead with 150 to go in the third quarter. Dragon to Williams. McManus. Good job of protecting the ball. Gets the shot up and in. And it's a one point ball game. Fountain to cross. Catch 
Cats take it away. Here's Cross. Now we got Houghton back in. There was 27 on the possession clock, so Cougars uh, would have turned it over without the jump ball. They're going to turn it over any anyway on the jump ball. Dragoon doubling over in pain coming off the floor. Rebounded by Brown. Dragoon still struggling to get to the bench. Also there by Jutman to block that shot. Cats are going to keep it. Now Dragoon in some kind of distress here and uh, got an assistant uh, Varsity coach sitting right there, not uh, even looking at him. But the AD and the varsity coach standing there, worried about the uh, what's going to happen with the uh, senior night stuff. Nobody seems to give a hoot about what's happening with Nick Dragoon. One point eight on the clock. This is cross at the line. This team is up by three. Misses the shot. Rebound put back up and we got a whistle before the horn. It'll be a two-shot foul, and it's going to send Juttonen to the line. I want to make it 35-31 at the end of three here and viewer supported hometown cable. Four point lead for the Bobcats as we start the fourth. They trailed by four coming in, but outscored the, the Cougars by eight, 15 to seven. So a big third period here for the visiting Bobcats. That's foul number four on McManus. And that won't help the uh, Cougar problems. Colton is in. Cross throws it up. Too strong. Rebounded Beasley, but he carries it out of bounds. Number 15 is in now. <laughs> Thirty five, thirty one, NAC Brown. Taken away, and we're going to have a hole here by the fountain. Taken away by the fountain. And we have a 
hold on Williams, I guess. And Jerry Davison's going to call a timeout with 7.29 left in the ball game. Fountain at the line. Takes the first. Makes it a five point lead. Cougars led as much as by as much as six early in the third quarter. And now the Bobcats lead by six. So that's a 12 point turnaround. 37-31 NAC. White with a push. And it's going to be double bonus. Double bonus, 10th team foul this half. Oh, it's going to send uh, Minkler to the line. This is the first. And Dragoon. Looks like he's recovered. Whatever it was, it almost did him in. He's back on his feet. Nine-point Bobcat lead. Dragoon catches up with it. The Cougar has arrived. And Dragoon makes his presence known. It's 40-33. Cross from way downtown. Follows a shot. Again. He's in for Minkler. Dragoon hits the second one. Well, it's a six point ball game, 40 34, five and a half to go in the ball game. Velasquez shot is missed. Foul. Twenty five, that's Dragoon. I 
That's his third. Uh, shooting two. And we got McManus back in. He was got four fouls. He's got another one coming, so let him play. If he gets it, he gets it. If he doesn't, well, he's, he's on the floor. Here's Dragon up to McLeod. No. McLeod can't get it to fall. Rebounded by King. 41 34. Looks like he was bumped a little bit after the shot, but he's just given his team a 10 point lead, 44 34. Dragoon throws it up. Dragoon follows, gives to McManus. McManus short, and we have a foul on McManus. <laughs> Williams will come back in, and I need a cough drop. King will shoot. The team is already up by double digits. Six, 34 as King hits them both. And we have a foul on Cross. Well, this place is packed. Dragoon. McLeod will throw it up, off the rim. Now we'll have a foul probably on Dragoon, we'll see. Say 10? Maybe 10. 10 green. Oh, the foul was on the uh, fountain, his fourth. Was down by a dozen. Under four to go. Off a green toe. Juttonen, Juttonen turns, throws it up off the rim, and there's Dragoon. Foul to Brown, too high for him. Cross with the ball, 3.10 on the clock. Traveling. Houghton in for Brown. Beasley back to McLeod. Over and back. Uh, 
No fault on Beasley. It's all McLeod on that one. All Beasley could do is catch it. There's Crouch. Short. King. Ooh. Fouls on Williams. And that will be his fifth, maybe? Yep, that's his fifth. Might have been a clean block, but he's got that habit of swinging his arms. Yeah, he can't be swatting because the refs are going to call that. So just go straight up and uh, don't swat. With all that arm flailing makes the refs uh, think there's something going on there. Thing with the couple at the foul line makes it 48-34. Evan Lajway in for the Bobcats. 2.49 on the game clock. Beasley bounce pass to Dragoon. Dragoon. And he draws a whistle. It's a beehive of activity here. <clears throat> it's January 25th, 2013. <clears throat> Nick Dragoon with a bucket. The fountain is back in, and he brought uh, Cameron Giro in with him. That was nice of him. Dragoon's second shot is missed, rebounded by King. Over to Giro. Two nineteen on the game clock. Forty-eight thirty-five Cougars. Bobcat ball. Jutman comes deep. Stolen by McLeod. Penetrates and throws it in. King has been relatively quiet. He's got double figures, I'm sure, but uh, relatively quiet. Has a basket by Houghton. 50-37, 143 to go. Cougars take it away. Brown to Dragoon. Beasley. And a three-pointer for, for uh, Zavion Beasley. King with another bucket. And Dragoon is limping again. We got 32 and 15 coming in. 32 is Gavin Lando, and 15 is our unknown player. Dragoon will limp off the floor as we head for the final 106 of the ball game. Bobcats up by an even dozen, 52-40. Nick Dragoon looks like he's seen better days. Beasley. 35, who's that? That's uh, David Sousa. Sousa to Houghton to uh, Lando.
35.9 on the clock. Sousa will shoot. Shooting two. Foul was on Juttonen, his second. Team seventh. Rebounded by Jutman. And Josh Jutman with a triple. That's a 15 point Bobcat lead. We're down to 20 seconds. Houghton out front. And we'll have a trip called on number 25. Who's he? Did we mention him yet? Oh, yeah, that's Lajway. 14, Dylan Miller for the Cats. We've mentioned everybody who's been in. Sousa at the line again. This is the front of the one and one, Bobcat ball. So, despite an early six-point trigger lead in the third quarter, the Bobcats take a 15-point, 55-40 to 40 victory. They defeat Northeastern Clinton in Junior Varsity Boys Basketball in the CBAC. And that's the way it was in beautiful downtown Champlain on this Friday, the 25th, 25th day, that is, of January. 2013, you're watching viewer-supported local television, Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.